In his first week on the job as DSU Chief of Police and Director of Security, Blair Barfus is checking out the campus. Barfus spent the last 14 years as a West Valley police officer and most recently as the head of training. He has been certified in both FBI and SWAT training and believes the two major issues most campuses face are sexual assault and active shooters. My background and my basis with investigations was special victims investigations and I feel that those victims need a voice. So I, I'm very uh, involved when it comes to sexual assault and how those investigations are handled. The second important issue that comes with campus policing is active shooter or active threats on in the campus setting or in our community. And uh, my experience with that is I've been a SWAT team member. I've been a team leader on West Valley SWAT team for a number of years. And the tactics and the training that go into those officers is something I hope to bring my experience, my uh, knowledge base to the campus police department and build upon what they already have. His goals are to grow the department as the campus grows. Currently there's six sworn uh, full-time police officers with one security staff and that number uh, is set to grow substantially. There's already plans to at least double in size in the near future. Um, six officers is great. We have a need and uh, desire to keep growing. The desire is to aim for 12 in the near future and then grow from there. We're looking at a number of ways to enhance our uh, service to Dixie State and that includes programs which uh, are geared around those two main focuses we discussed earlier, sex assault and active gunmen. There's a number of ways that we can grow and develop and it's going to be an exciting time to be a part of that and help that happen. Barfus also wants to see even more new security cameras help be the eyes for potential and current crimes. Uh, we are going to be proactive in installing security cameras. That's been happening. There's hundreds of cameras currently being used, monitored, and uh, our site plans and our view of where this campus can go with campus security and camera monitoring is growing with each building being built. The video presence is already being built into those plans. Many people may not know, but Dixie State University campus police officers also have the authority to take on action anywhere in the state. However, Barfus said his jurisdiction lies within the campus boundaries, as well as its outlying buildings, which he plans to serve and protect. We also are responsible for the safety security of all buildings associated with Dixie State. So the amphitheater and the Hurricane Center and other areas where Dixie State is holding classes and has professors and everybody involved, Dixie State Campus Police handles those responsibilities. Barfus believes in an open door policy and plans to be transparent. The Campus Police are always here to answer any call, whether it be to jumpstart a car or investigate a criminal case. Uh, the main thing that we go back to is the mantra of law enforcement to protect and serve. So yes, we will provide protection. We will address the major issues that are addressing campus, campuses across the country. We will handle our law enforcement duties with exactness and with integrity and with professionalism. But at the same time, we're in an environment that's a fun environment. It's a learning environment. It's a place where students can get together and collaborate and have a good time. And we expect to be involved in that process. And we will put ourselves out with the community, with the students, with the staff, to be actively engaged with each kind of group, with faculty groups, student groups, and the community, so that when they see Dixie State Campus Police, they know that we love our university, we love everybody involved in the community <laughs> itself, and we are a part of it. This is Barfus's first opportunity to be chief of police and head of security. He said he looks forward to the challenge. It's the reason why uh, I'm moving from Salt Lake to St. George is this opportunity and this experience isn't just for me or my family but it's for every officer with Dixie State, it's for the university, it's for everybody involved. 
and I look forward to that. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.